this will be really quick. This is our recommendation. Um, as you guys may already know, the landscape isn't very big. No. Um, most of the cosmetic versions of Azalea Gassi you can find are 10% um, products. The most notable ones are from Inky, Naturium, The Ordinary, and Paul's Choice. Mm-hmm. I think those are probably the four most popular ones. There's not a lot of small players that dabble in it. Again, because it's a pain in the butt to formulate. Um, it's not very easy to just come out with a 10% product. Yeah. Um, we will say... Some of these, I think, suffer. We we actually tried all of these last year. Um, some of them definitely suffer from inconsistency in their formulas. The ordinary, I think, can be a pretty big offender of it. We have had lots sent to us that's gritty, and we will say for an ingredient that definitely has issues penetrating skin, if you experience grittiness, that's definitely a no bueno. Yeah. Paula's Choice is probably another one that's like that kind of traditional in Hydra's paste. Um. Mm-hmm. I would say that one's not bad in terms of any sort of grittiness, but anybody that's used azelaic acid, even at 10%, will probably experience some sort of stinging. That's pretty common um, to feel that initially. And what I can say is that one, I definitely had more of that stinging sensation compared to the inky and naturiums, which is actually more of that emulsion, lighter texture. In terms of the ones that we've tried, we actually liked the Inkies and Naturians products better. Um, also, because you're most likely going to be laying this in your routine and it just seems to be laying better than the other two. Mm-hmm. And then last but not least, we should definitely talk about how, you know, azelaic acid it has actually um, been listed as a category B um, ingredient for pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So, which is actually a good class. It's actually better than a lot of actually a majority of the skincare ingredients out there. And so it's actually one that we would say is okay to use in uh, your pregnancy safe skincare routine. But as always mm-hmm. with anything regarding pregnancy, we're not doctors, you should always consult with your doctor first. But we should give that as a shout out that, you know, go right ahead for the most part in your Routine. Yeah, it's it's great that it actually has data and the classification, whereas we get asked questions like, is this pregnancy safe? Or like, no data found, yeah. cannot talk about. So this is great. And especially for those of you who are more prone to acne, that's usually the class of yeah. um, products that gets like completely out the, out the window when you're pregnant. So it's great that azelaic acid can potentially be an option. Again, double check with your doctor, um, especially if you know, you're in the first trimester, you probably shouldn't dabble in too many products to begin with. But regardless, this is something that you should, uh, that you should be able to use in most cases. I was also going to say, um, because during my pregnancy, I was pretty hyperpigmentation prone, and I still feel like mm-hmm. I'm now still trying to treat that. Um, I wish I used more hyperpigmentation actives prior to getting pregnant because I feel like now I'm just trying to treat and catch up. Whereas before I wish I did a better job. I just kind of was like, you know, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. But no, 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 no. This should have started way earlier. And so that this would have been an ingredient I probably would have used a lot earlier for anybody that's in that realm right now. So. Yeah, if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant and curious about all of that, what category ABC means, um, head to our blog. There's like, we can probably go on for another half an hour about this, but um, just head to the blog and read all about it. But this basically sums up, Yay. you know, our athlete guys episode. Then the next one, we'll dive into the question. Well, we see a lot of derivatives of azelaic oh. acid now. Does that do anything? 